welcome to Ace Linguistics. This channel is about all things linguistic. So let's see what we've got today. Clipping is simply shortening of a word that has more than one syllable without changing the meaning. In this sense, you might say, oh, if the meaning is not changed, so how, why do you call it the word formation process? Because you don't create a new word, you just shorten a word. For example, the word guac, what is it short for? Yes, guacamole. So you might say, oh, so the guacamole has been shortened to guac. So how is it that a word has been created? I mean, did we really create a new word or did we just shorten a word? But well, you would see that that's not always the case. For example, the word bra is shortened from brazier. But probably a lot of people may not even know the word brazier. They just always heard bra. So sometimes when a word is clipped, it's shortened, the clipped form may become the dominant form after a while. And it may not just be the dominant form, it might be the only form. For example, the word piano. Did you know it's short for pianoforte? I can imagine a lot of people having never heard the word pianoforte. They always just heard the word piano. In a sense, clipping has created words that can replace the older words. Or the word pub, for example, um, is short for public house, but it's like a drinking place, like a bar. Or the word perm is permanent wave. For example, the word influenza has become flu, has been clipped to flu. And people usually say flu, but if you want to speak diff technical language, then you might say influenza. Or telephone has become phone for most of the time. People sometimes say fanatic, but almost always say fan. But as you have seen in the examples, this is to be noted, that usually clipping is you just take the beginning of the word and you get rid of the rest. It could be like in the case of guacamole or bra, it is the beginning of a word, but sometimes it's the beginning of two words. You see public house for pub or... But still, whether it's one word or two words, it's usually the beginning of the first word, okay? But it can also be sometimes like influenza, it's been clipped on both sides, in and enza from beginning and end. One place where clipping is common is um, clipping of names. Alexander becoming Al, Ed, short for Edward, Liz for Elizabeth. So you see in the case of the first two Al and Ed, it's clipped from the beginning. But in the case of Elizabeth, it's the second syllable that has been called Liz. Or examples, narc for narcotics. For example, I got my hydro bill. Telly in British English for television, prof for professor, gym for gymnasium are examples of more examples of clipping. Now you can tell me what these words are clippings of. Ad. Advertisement. Bike. and math and gas bus omnibus in the case of omnibus the end of the word has been clipped you see as i said it's usually the beginning but sometimes the word is clipped from both sides if you take the middle sometimes you take the end like the word van which is short for caravan so omnibus and caravan, it's the end of the word.
Back formation is usually based on analogy. For example, televised from television is based on other words that in which you have eyes at the end. Also in back formation, back formation is derivation and results in a new word category, revised from revision, or new meaning. Flipping simply shortens the word phonologically but does not change the meaning. One interesting thing is that it seems that university students are big fans of clipping. Chem for chemistry, lab for laboratory, phys ed for physical education, poli sci for political science, con ed for continuing education, psych for psychology. These are some examples. If you can think of other examples, let me know. Thanks for your time and attention and see you again soon.